Yeah, this was intense. What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. A24 has a brand new film. It went straight to VOD this weekend, and that movie is called Skin. I need you in the comments down below. Did you watch this movie? Did you enjoy it? And have you had the chance to check it out yet? Let's talk about skin. So a young man raised by racist skinheads and notorious among white supremacists turns his back on hatred and violence to transform his life with the help of a black activist and the woman he loves. This film is directed by Guy Nativ and stars Jamie Bell. I'm a big fan of Jamie Bell, but it seems like every time he pops up in the lead or even the side role in a film, he gets underserved as an actor because I've seen him bring it. Even in movies that I don't love, he brings it. Earlier this year, we had his performance in Rocket Man, and I thought he almost stole the entire movie. If it wasn't for Edgerton, he would have stole the film. And I feel the exact same way about him in this movie as I expected to feel, and he is amazing. A24, it's the perfect studio to take on a film with him in the starring role, and he is absolutely spectacular. I don't think he's going to get any notice from award shows, or people aren't going to look at this and say, yes, that's the best performance of the year, but he did as well as I thought he would do, and I thought he would kill it. His performance, in my opinion, carries the entire film, and really, there wasn't a bad performance in this movie, and from a directing sense, I really liked how he started out. The very first scene throws you into this story. It is absurdly dark and absolutely thrilling. Now, this is a biography. It's sort of a crime film, very dramatic, but the movie is intense at times and it keeps you on the edge of your seat. One in the beginning when all of the violence and the chaos is going on and you see him act the way that you expect him to act in the beginning of the movie. That was tragic. It was horrible, based on a true story. It's not what you want to see, but it's what you watch a film like this to see, to see the true story and how his character progresses. And then by the end of the film, when you're in another intense situation, when he's in the midst of the people that he loves, you feel the intensity and you just feel the way his character has progressed from one thing to something different entirely. Like I said, I mean, you could see that as a spoiler, and I understand, but it's based on a true story, and you know what this is about just from the summary. While the destination was interesting for me, I saw it getting there. It's how we get there, and the progression of the story was interesting. But I will admit, even though the premise is great, you have a character who is learning from his mistakes, and he's starting to accept the fact that he is maybe not who he was raised to believe he is, right? It's a powerful story, it's an impactful story, and you're just with him because the people, they're not good people, they're the worst kind of people. So you want him out of that situation because you can feel that struggle within him. It's just the storytelling and the way that they went about this narrative. That's where I kind of fault this movie because it didn't keep me as captivated as it thinks it's keeping you, right? There are intense things happening like every five to ten minutes. The camera shakes, the editing, the music, it picks up, it gets as horrifying and intense as you need it to be. Everything technically works, and once again, the direction was great. I thought some of the shots, especially towards the beginning, the first two or three scenes, one, like I said, it throws you into the film, but two, it's just action-packed, and you're like, yeah, I'm here for this, but it's that middle chunk of the film, like a 45-minute span, where the director is trying to get the audience to understand how he got from here to here, and I bought it at the end. I was on board with him, but I didn't necessarily buy it because of his character arc and the way it was fleshed out towards the middle of the story. I bought it because of Jamie Bell's performance, and that is not a testament to the story and the script, and the film really slowed down for me too much at that point, and I have nothing against a slow-moving film. If there's a slow pace and it pays off and it does it strategically, then I'm okay with it, but this movie, it moves too slow, and I think it focuses on on the wrong thing, right? It kind of fleshes out their relationship, and you kind of get the internal struggle, but some conversations, they felt a bit meaningless to the plot. There are so many side characters in there. I want to know more about him. I want to know more about her, and I just, I didn't get that. I didn't feel that. It felt like a highlight reel, just kind of rushing through all of these moments to get to the end, and the end is captivating. There's a shootout between certain characters, and I absolutely loved it. Some great action when the action was happening, but the problem is, and not that this is an action movie, it's a biopic trying to explain to you how this man found the light. And it's also kind of a film focusing on friendship and relationships because there's a friendship somewhere in there that's developing. I didn't quite get that from the story, but then by the end, 
end of the film, they show you the true story and you're like, oh yeah, okay, I, I get why they're friends now, but I didn't see that progression laid out very well in the movie. And in the relationship, it's just another thing that they kind of cycle through. They go through the motions. I thought their chemistry was good and I did like certain scenes with them conversing with each other. But at the end of the day, I look at this movie and I see kind of a missed opportunity to give us something that was super intense, mixed with this incredible true story with impeccable direction, carried by Jamie Bell's performance, and I got certain things that I wanted out of that, but I did not get everything. It didn't come together to create a cohesive package at the end of the day. I still enjoyed the film. Well, I don't want to say enjoyed, but I got out of it what I needed to get out of it. It just it didn't hit the levels above that. It didn't give me a great movie, and that's why I'm going to go still fresh, still a 61% from skin. I needed more from A24 this time around because I think the true story calls for that, but it was absolutely intense at times, and I did love, 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 love Jamie Bell's performance. He was awesome in the film. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Like I said, I need your comments down below. Did you enjoy the movie? What did you get out of it? I'll be back very soon with more tier lists, more reviews, more MCU-related videos, and I'll see you very soon.